So really good question and a common question because many over 65 year olds will ask you for treatments on how to look fresher or younger. And you absolutely can treat them. The difference is it's off label. So what that means is there is data to support the use of botulinum toxin in patients less than 65 for the indications that we have a license for, which is forehead lines, lateral canthal lines and glabella creases. And in those patients who are older than 65, there isn't sufficient data to support the use of them. This doesn't mean that they botulinum toxin somehow stops working and it doesn't mean that all those patients that you treat will end up with an unacceptable side effect. In fact, in fact, the majority of 66 year olds will be exactly the same to treat as 65 year olds. The difference is that you are making the decision as a practitioner to take on that responsibility. It's not it's no, no, not so much in the hands of the drug company in terms of condoning that treatment. You are a little bit more more likely to need to defend your decision making in a different way if it ever was to come to a court case where the patient claimed some sort of harm. You would have to present some information from other colleagues to prove that what you did was in the realm of normal treatment and that would not be a problem for most of the treatments you do in the upper face for a 68, 69 year old. Um, there's tons of evidence that they are routinely treated and usually get good results. Now you are more likely to get some of the side effects because the skin is in older patients tends to be less forgiving. So it's more likely to drop. That's primarily the problem that you see. Skin is, ge is generally less resistant to muscle movement, but also less resistant to gravity. And if you put a little bit too much toxin in, or even the right amount, you're just more likely to see that heaviness or asymmetry because it's more about the position of the muscle and strength of the toxin than it is about the fat and the elasticity of the skin, which is more dominant in younger faces.